So hi guys, Phoenix the Fruit Collector here. So I'm here to do a review of uh, Wind and Cloud from Acme Studios. So this is based on this comic book. It's called um, Wind and Cloud. It's all under heaven. That's the Chinese name for it. So a lot of uh, painted arts. But here's the uh, statues for you. So on the front here is uh, Wind, two versions. The blue one is the Hong Kong version, it's 150 made, and the uh, green one is international version. This came out like five years ago, I believe. Uh, and in the back here is, of course, Cloud. It just came out this year, but I've been waiting for like three years now. So, yep, this is uh, a big, massive statue. It's 40 inch by 40 inch, the base, it's massive. So anyway, I will just go into, uh, and this statue first, this is the wind, and this is the two brothers. And I suppose the legend is that when the two brothers join, they become the uh, martial art champions. And there's a huge storyline behind that, because if they join together, they can dominate the martial art world. And the master used them to uh, manipulate them and became the champion or the uh, conqueror, his name, of all the martial art world. Unfortunately, the prophecy says that they can make the master become the greatest leader, but then also take him down too. So this is, he's riding the Kirin. So this uh, is a magical creature whose uh, who's, uh, blood gets onto the arm of Cloud in the back here, and he gains all his uh, powers also. It's almost like a mythic, logical uh, creature. And on this one is the uh, international version. So they create two versions, international and the Hong Kong version. And he just stands on the uh, rock. And I created the base for it and I used the, uh, the water from Aspen a long time ago. It's a uh, one six scale, but I used that base to uh, craft this. And it came, came with uh, two portraits one with his uh, normal looking with the uh, third eye and the uh, the hair is just crazy look how fine and detailed it is and of course the second portrait is him with one eye taken out same great scope here and the other thing is uh, there's two switch outs for the hands one is him holding the uh, the sword backwards like that and the other one is holding uh, the sword up front so one's the luck version with a kirin and the other one is just the uh, the rock now onto the uh, cloud acme statue so this statue has uh, two switch outs one with this hand and the other one is a flying palm so I'll take out uh, after this. But uh, yeah, so this is supposed to be a, a cyborg dragon. Half dragon uh, and half uh, metal dragon. The face lights up, but it's such a pain though. I mean, every time you take it off, it, something breaks. And I think I'll just let it run out of uh, battery. And, and that is that. Um, yeah, so this piece here comes off and this piece down here which is a massive piece comes off too uh, really didn't doesn't need it just for look wise it doesn't support the statue at all so the body alone is quite heavy so the head comes off this head comes off and there's a switch inside to turn off the light on and off and the magnet is so strong that you can yank it out so every time I do it I'm afraid I'll break something um, yeah so this piece here comes off like I said and uh, he's standing on this uh, dragon on this side. He's on the can or made of swords. This is a sword that he carries with him. It's called the uh, ultimate sword. And it's supposed to be extremely heavy and nobody could uh, hold it uh, except him. And of course, this is the uh, tattoo of the Kirin he has on his arm. That is supposed to be the splash when he hurt the, uh, the, this Kirin here. The blood gone to him, that's, uh, no. I'm, I'm getting mixed up. 
No, he got it, uh, his arm amputated, grafted with another character, and that's how he. And the, that character was uh, fighting the Kirin, and uh, he got his arm, uh, you know, upgrade because of Kirin blood. But supposedly in the story that uh, Wynn here got a splash of the uh, the Kirin's blood on him, and that made him really strong. But then it drives him crazy too because of the blood. That's the curse of the Kirin, I guess. But here's more closer look at the uh, the other side of this uh, dragon. So on this side, look at all the scales. I can't turn anything like because it, it's just so fragile. Um, see all this stuff. The scales. It's crazy. They overdid it. They went nuts. Um, it came with this poster here, but it's an afterthought really. But uh, this sword, I mean, he's holding the sword out. It's, and the cape is made of almost like uh, hard plastic. It's very nice to them though. I mean, this is his head sculpt. I'm not too happy with it. I mean, the hair looks okay. It's nicely done, but uh, I don't know. It's just not as I thought his face would be. This is the best looking one. There's another one, but this is uh, not as nice. They made him look too young, too uh, much of a pretty boy. He's supposed to be a little bit more manly and, uh, and uh, you know, he's a fighter. He's not a pretty boy. So that's the cape that goes around. Yeah, so this thing is, like I said, 40 inch by 40 inch. So I got no place to play them. He's on the dining room table until I fix my shelf. Um, yeah, I'll probably display without this uh, piece here. This piece, it c comes off, but that piece is like 10 inches by itself. So, um, yeah. So this is, uh, I don't know what else to say. Oh, here's the other head sculpt that came with it. Yeah, so this is the other head sculpt. It looks okay. I mean, he's, he doesn't have that much of a great uh, scope. His face kind of like regular looking. I don't know. It's it's okay. I mean, supposedly the uh, the author Ma Wingshing, he didn't have a chance to uh, look at this because uh, he was stuck in Hong Kong and this during the COVID for three years. So this thing's been, you know, delayed for almost three years now. So. Yeah, here I'll switch out the arms for you. And here you go. This is the switch out arms that uh, the palm, it's like a palm strike, right? So he's like floating. And the sword is back in his sheath. So, yeah. I mean, this is quite an impressive statue. I mean, the company hasn't said anything more about the, any more characters coming out. But I'm hoping they would do this character. He's called Nameless. He's like the master, their master. So you have Wind here, and then you have Cloud, see? And other characters along the storyline, but this, this character is, is called Nameless. He's the master, eventually became the master. And that's his trademark, uh, walking around, and he's like, got his arm behind his back. And he's supposed to be like the uh, ultimate legend in fighting. Like the master of all masters. Normally they keep beat him. But he's humble because they killed his wife. And when he was the best of the best, he got arrogant and they put him in his place. And of course, he learned his lesson. And ever since, he kind of uh, secluded himself from everything else, from the world. And just wants to uh, retire and stuff. But, you know, in Chinese martial arts, you can't really retire because everybody comes after you looking to challenge you and stuff. It's always struggle for power to be the best of the best, right? So, yeah, it's an interesting story, but uh, a lot of it's just, you know, wasted bravado and energy and stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, other than that, uh, yeah. But are you guys, uh, this is the other, this is the way the, the comic book started for me because it was translated from uh, Chinese into English and the comic book is called Storm Riders so you know pick it up 
the art is amazing. I mean, it's both hand drawn and also uh, painted. It's just it's it's amazing. It's uh, it's a little bit different from here. See, that's the master. See, I love all the uh, pencil work and stuff, shadings and stuff. So, yeah. So a lot of his, you know, there's a tells you exactly who the characters are. Unfortunately, this uh, never made it past a certain point in the story because there uh, was the company got shut down and they went, they stopped producing anymore. But uh, yeah, so this is pretty much my world. Storm Riders, and it's going to end, I think. I don't think the company's producing anymore the statue because uh, supposedly they lost money on it. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure, but nothing's been said. And uh, nothing's been. Uh, Nothing, no leaks, no nothing of anything going happening. I hope it continues though, but other than that, you know, this is my cup of tea, but uh, you know, it's in a way it's nice, but in a way it's it's hard to collect because there's no really market for it. You can't really resell it because I mean, this is just something I like to collect and that's pretty much it. You will never, I will never get my money back for this because there's no buyers for this. The statue, it was so for 1600 USD. The shipping alone was 600 USD. It came in a pallet, two big massive boxes. But like I said, you know, I guess I can't really do much more than that. And this, uh, this guy, it came in that 1200 bucks. So the big jump, but the shipping was about 400 bucks. So everything went up because of the COVID and all the other stuff. But other than that, you know, um, what else can I say? I mean, I just love the the detail and how crazy, how crazy the uh, the hairs are done. These are almost like uh, individually sculpted, and uh, I guess glue on. Uh, this one was the. Uh, international version I got double duplicate and this one had one strand of hair on the back that's sticking up here this strand see it broke never found the piece but that's the only piece that ever broke everything else came pristine I don't know how but uh, I've been pretty lucky so you know that's all I gotta say um, yeah so this is the, the head sculpt for it one version, and uh, like I said, stern look, and look at the crazy hair. I mean, I love these hairs. Um, I don't seem to see these kind of hair in uh, American productions, even though all the statues are produced in China. I think it's the uh, the guys producing it. They don't have the confidence to produce uh, that detail for strands of hair and stuff. It's It's different. It's different, I gotta say. So this is from China, right? So Chinese company. Um, yeah, so this, like I said, this is the wind. And I guess I got two of them. One international and one uh, Hong Kong version. That was crazy. I know, I know. I was going to get the second one of Cloud, but it's too much money and it's just too big. And they don't have enough of a bus for it either. They have the head, the second head, but I can't put it on anywhere because there's no bust. At least this uh, wind, it came with a bust, so I can leave it like that. But uh, unfortunately, because of COVID and stuff, they never produce any busts. It's supposed to come with a coin too, but I don't think the coin's coming. So, oh well, it is what it is, but I gotta enjoy this. But like I said, it's, it's, it's an awesome statue though, I mean. My whole room is designed for this. My whole house is designed for this. I mean, I got, I got, you know, posters, more posters, and more posters. See, this is Cloud. Him sitting. This is very iconic. And of course, this this from the uh, the wind statue box. I cut it out and I made a uh, frame of it. So yeah. So this is the their master. Nameless. He's supposed, hopefully he'd be the third character they do, but it doesn't look like it. 
So a little bonus, uh, this is what my uh, family room is like. It's all designed for the Storm Riders. I mean, the Superman, but that's uh, all the posters. That's Wynn sitting there. And of course, all the, these are the one, six statues that come with it. Uh, yeah, so these are all at least 20 years old. Here's Cloud sitting on the, uh, on the uh, rock and contemplating. This is very iconic, this poster, and everybody knows about it. Every Hong Kong person knows about it, if they read comics. So this is uh, wind kicking up a storm with the shadow of ghosts and stuff. Yeah, so. And this, of course, is uh, the master nameless. You can see the way he stands. That's how he stands all the time. Of course. And this is where the, the statue is representing him standing on the rocks. And of course, these posters, I, this one, I just blew it up at Walmart and uh, made a poster of it. But my whole room upstairs is, is almost all like this too. But this is my family room. So this is supposed to be a stamp book. And I took the uh, inside of it and I pretty much blew it up and made a poster of it and did the framing myself. This used to be a calendar. I cut up the uh, six posters and then put them together and made a frame of it. But this is the other iconic uh, wind st uh, statue or poster. Everybody knows about this. This is like so iconic. And of course, you know, more wind. Look in the clouds, it's painted. Uh, yeah, it's, it's so nicely done. But this is the, the poster that came with the uh, and the wind statue, see? It's almost like a 3D version of it. So, but uh, um, I'll go upstairs and sh quickly show you the other statues and stuff that's up there with uh, design for wind and cloud. Yeah, so this is the uh, my room to, uh, it's called Stormbriders Pavilion. So this is supposed to be uh, cloud. That's what I imagine him to be like, but it didn't come out right with the statue that was designed. So anyway, so yeah, this is cloud with his Kieran arm and the two brothers. This is the newer comic book version of it. But uh, yeah, so posters of it, him sitting, contemplating, updated version uh, downstairs. And of course I have two of the uh, life-size sword. The right is the cloud sword, it's called ultimate sword. And the left is the snowy saber. And this is the iconic, uh, usually, you know, that's how they depict wind floating in the air and stuff like that. And it was snowy saber. And of course that's him too. And very iconic. I don't know if you see that or not, but uh, yeah. So this, this is postcards doing conventions. I, I bought it and they had his signature and stuff. So I framed it, made it myself. I excuse all the, uh, the Western statues on there, but all the posters in the background is based on uh, a wooden cloud. So, so yeah. I hope you guys see through that, but uh, yeah, see him back there, but uh, yeah, so the other one is, of course, this poster is what the wooden statue was like, it's really downstairs, that's what it's supposed to be like, and him with wind, and the two brothers with a Kirin, of course, another version, iconic uh, pose by uh, wind. And of course, the three. And the top, that's uh, Nameless, the Master, Wind, and of course, Cloud. Older versions of themselves. And this is the other version of uh, Cloud, trying to imitate uh, Wind. And this is also Cloud contemplating, and then Wind doing all his fancy footwork and stuff. And this is the iconic Nameless, the master. He's got this little viol Chinese violin, we call it. And he just plays on that. So, yeah. 
And of course, more posters. My whole house is full of these kind of posters. Yeah. And then of course, this is where I started. This comic book, Storm Raiders. Yeah. And then of course, this of wind in the uh, fields and just contemplating. I mean, the, this is what I fell in love with, see? It's amazing. It's it's painted, but at the same time it's drawn by hand and then painted over. It's just ridiculous. I mean, that's why I fell in love with this comic book. The arts is, is crazy. Both uh, pencils and uh, ink work and uh, sometimes painted. And later issues were painted by computer, of course, but uh, yeah, this is it's what it is. Yeah, so I'll show you a little bit of the artwork that uh, these are some of the work that uh, in the comic book. Like I said, it's 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 crazy. See, that's uh, Cloud when he got his uh, sword. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Well, as the uh, comic books got on later, a lot of it was done by uh, not hand anymore. That's hand drawn, painted. See, this is what I love about this comic book. It's it's different from the Western comic books. I mean, this is top, the best of the best, right? I mean, back in the day, he was just innovative about everything. So I just love the art, but this is what uh, Clow. Uh, Nameless, the masters. That's his iconic look. Always like that. Anyway, back to the statue. So, uh, yeah. So, other than that. I'm so happy with the statue, but then so frustrated because of the uh, freaking head. Every time I pull it off, I have Freya break something. And I think I did one time. So, anyway. I won't be taking it off. So, I'll let it run until it's... The battery runs out and that's it. But then I gotta take it off and bring it upstairs when the shelf's done. But uh, yeah, yeah, it, it's yeah. I can't say anything else. Other than, I'm just so impressed with the statue, but at the same time, so frustrated with it because the way it's designed. Yeah, I don't know. I just enjoy these statues. This is what statue collecting is all about. Collecting like these and it's just crazy. And saying that this is the rock, it's an actual rock, it feels like it too. And so, yeah, a little bit different from the uh, usual comic book statues that we get in the uh, US and stuff, but uh, yeah, they uh, it's hard, it's a hard market to sell because it's just too big, and Asians in Hong Kong and China don't have the space to display it. I mean. Even I don't have this place to display it because it's so massive. Um, yeah, everybody thinks I'm crazy, but you know, whatever. I do what I like to do and I don't do other stuff. I just buy stuff that I like and uh, don't buy other stuff that I don't like. Everybody has their own taste. We all do what we do. So anyway, so thanks for watching, but uh, hopefully this will give you into the world of Storm Riders. Or in the Chinese comic book, it's called Under Heaven, Tinha, or Feng Wen is a Chinese one too. So, yeah, so um, Phoenix is signing off and, uh, you know, collect what you like and uh, be responsible though. I mean, you know, be responsible. That's all it is. Yeah. Oh well, next time, hopefully. Uh, the uh, nameless statue will come in, but uh, I don't have high hopes for it. So, well, take care, guys. Have a good day.